welcome to the latest SNP update for uh, our party membership. Yesterday at Holyrood we passed the Scottish Government's budget for the next financial year and right at the heart of that budget was our commitments on health and education and our determination to make Scotland a much fairer country. So we set out measures that would see the health budget in Scotland increase to over £12 billion for the very first time and also investment to ensure that we put more money into tackling inequality within our education system so that every young Scot has the very best start in their life. In addition to these measures, we also had to tackle some of the consequences of decisions at Westminster. So we're also putting in place some much needed support for some of the most vulnerable individuals in our country by providing measures to tackle the impact of welfare reform. And we're spending now nearly £100 million on the implications of welfare reform. At the same time, and despite the financial constraints in which we're operating, we've managed to protect issues like the freeze in the council tax, the availability of free prescriptions, and of course, the concessionary bus travel system that allows our elderly population to have a free and fair movement around the country. So there's a lot been achieved in the budget and a determination by the Scottish Government to do everything we can within our powers to tackle inequality. Now you'll also have heard in the last few days about the strength of SNP support in the polls and the constituency polls that came out uh, on Wednesday were a fascinating read about how well the party is doing right around the country. But they're polls, they're not the real election which takes place on the 7th of May. So we've got to make sure that every one of us who've, who are members of the SNP play our part, make our contribution to delivering the strongest, biggest campaign we possibly can do for May the 7th. And it starts this Saturday with a National Day of Action in every part of the country where we've all got to be out making sure that people in Scotland hear our message that only with a strong group of SNP MPs at Westminster will we be able to defend the Scottish interest and make sure that we deliver new and increased powers for the Scottish Parliament. So I hope you'll get behind the Westminster campaign uh, this coming weekend, support our candidates that have, be, that have been selected, the length and breadth of the country, an absolutely fantastic crop of talented individuals. We've got great people to represent us at Westminster. We've just got to make sure that we get them there. And we'll get them there by all of our hard work. Thanks for everything that you're doing. And please make your contribution this weekend and right up to me the 7th.